Hello, my loves. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your lie, baby. Light up, smoke up, choke up. So, um, 15th through the 18th, March 2019. We're going to be seeing about these earth signs, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked and subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Um, I'm going to start out with Capricorn first, then Virgo, and then Taurus for the weekend. All right, guys. I'm trying to get my last little, little bit of puffy puffies in, baby. So we're going to be seeing what messages uh, Tarot has for you, how they view you. What could be approaching you or possible outcomes? So, Capricorn, Capricorn, darlings, Capricorn. All right, so you guys could be dealing with the true love, romance of a lifetime. Somebody's definitely worth waiting for. Oh, there could be some trusts, uh, or there could be some issues that you guys are trying to trust here. It could be a soulmate energy. So, we're about to see what's getting into that, Capricorn. We're going to get into that, okay? So, which is tarot? After tarot is what I shall be using. Um, hopefully, I'm going to fuck some shit up. Alright, so. Capricorns. Weekend. Let's see what's going on. Capricorns, y'all make me want to dance, and y'all be acting all stiff all the time with them poker faces. Okay, so let's see what messages Tarot has for you, my loves. Very, very interesting so far. Tarot is definitely telling you there's some sort of balance uh, that you're needing to maintain here. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. But Tarot is definitely saying that there is a situation that somebody is scared to be in suspense about. Possibly because they don't, it doesn't bring forth balance. Because there could be some love or some emotions that you guys are definitely wanting to be called to you. The Queen of Cups energy here. You all could be dealing with a possible Cap uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Your fellow Cardinal signs, definitely Cancer. But there's some sort of message here where somebody is really scared to take some sort of leap of faith with a Gemini, possibly. Uh, but it looks to me like there's some sort of lover situation that's coming in like you guys are kind of struggling to maintain some sort of balance over the weekend. So you guys could be having some conversations, could be some miscommunication that you guys are dealing with. Uh, but I definitely feel like there might be someone that feels like they need to bring forth some sort of emotion possibly definitely with the queen of cups here uh but i do feel like with the full card in reverse um there's definitely someone who doesn't want to take an opportunity capricorn darlings okay tarot's also saying that you guys possibly have some sort of uh something that you feel like is not in alignment or there's no futuristic possibilities possibly uh, could be because there's some emotions right now that's involved. That's definitely what I'm seeing here. Could be some distance as well with the Queen of Pentacles in, uh, coming in reverse. So you guys might be having some sort of distance or some land travel issues between getting to each other because there's definitely some love here. But I do feel like there's somebody who's getting ready to like, you know, they're scared to break. They want to break away from this union shit because it isn't something that they see futuristically that's lining up for them. Possibly because there's some emotions, some emotions involved. Someone could also be dealing with moving as well with the Queen of Pentacles here. So I hate it when weed flies in my mouth. <laughs> So, let's see how they view you over the weekend. 
definitely someone who's broken down some sort of manifestation here or you really are breaking away from communicating to this person that there is something that they feel they're having some limited options that they can't manifest or they can't this is not taking off on the ground could be some choices or options that you guys are limiting yourself from some expansion this that this person sees you you know that could be a block or a hindrance so definitely be aware that uh you know there could be some moving that they view you as somebody who could be have at a distance with the queen of pentacles um, also with the seven of cups, definitely somebody who's made some choices or could have some options, uh, but they're getting ready to make some choices here. It's definitely how they view you. Also, you could be dealing with an Aries as well with a magician card. Okay. Sagittarius too. Page of Pentacles is here. It looks to me like there could be some choices or options that this person wants to block some sort of communication or there's some communication that's blocked because of this Page of Pentacles being here. Uh, it does look to me like there could be some sort of like challenge or you guys feel like there's a challenge uh, over the weekend that you guys are needing to solve. This is definitely how they view you. Definitely someone who's turned off by some... Uh, Emotions with the Ace of Cups in reverse is how they view you. Somebody who's not really willing to share some sort of love situation. So you guys could be going through some little arguments because they feel like uh, someone... I'm getting here that someone feels like it's... Uh, you know, the connection is like severed for the time being because there is some sort of distance between you guys. Okay, Capricorn. They're seeing that in you, that there's no emotions being brought to this. You're coming out of making choices and getting ready to stick to one option here and focus on one option. But they definitely, it could be some uh, lunar or someone's menstrual cycle that could be, uh, you know, hindering certain situations. Um, it looks to me like it could be an imbalance of emotions right now. The Magician card, the Ace of Cups, somebody could be having some, uh, you know, imbalances as well. So definitely be aware of that. A lot of cup energy here too so they view you as somebody who definitely has some structure you guys have been getting this a lot this emperor card so they view you as someone who's gaining structure taking care of family taking care of home for sure but they also see that this situation uh you know it causes some sort of distance here uh that someone is not able to you know it looks to me like Someone needs to go with the flow. Someone needs to go with the flow. Is what it looks like to me. Is how they view you. Okay. So. Let's see if anything is approaching you. Pull some clarifiers. After tarot. Over the weekend. Definitely some emotions here. Like I said. Someone feels like they need to break off some sort of union shit. Because of these emotions. Uh, it looks to me like there could be some sort of steam. Or something that someone's need to blow off or there's some steam that's coming off of her, okay? Her emotions, you know, looks to me like she's trying to leave some shit behind, but somebody's definitely reflecting. So, you know, it could be male, female, vice versa, but I feel like uh, what's approaching you is somebody's feeling like there's some sort of connection or unionship that they feel is, uh, you know, just not up to par. Definitely could be some third party situations or you could be studying Someone could be a student as well. Look at Salem. Three of Pentacle Energy. Okay. Two of Cups here. Right on top of the Five of Cups. So someone is definitely mentally reflecting. Someone's definitely taking time to figure out how this unionship is going to come in smooth. So a lot of emotions that are being poured here. A lot of thoughts and things. People could be jotting some things down with the Three of Pentacles. But I do feel like there could be a possible third party situation. Or something that is hindering the overall situation from a person at looking at it in the full perspective. Two of Pentacle energy, uh, definitely someone who is coming out of, uh, you know, juggling multiple things and they're getting, someone is definitely analyzing a final situation and a final outcome here. There could be some messages that are blocked with the Ace of Cups or the Page of Cups. Uh, it could be, you know, a younger character that you're dealing with or you feel like it's some sort of immature energy that you're dealing with. Um, but I do feel like this is what's approaching you is, you know, you really analyzing some things over the weekend and being able to uh, figure out, you know, 
where the injustice or the imbalance comes in at and also it could be someone could be feeling like there's some sort of like difference because there is um okay there's that page of swords but somebody feels like there's some sort of there's uh someone who's just not equally uh it's just not equal or it's not the right timing okay is what I feel like you're thinking and also with the page of swords and the death card there could be some spine you could be dealing with a Scorpio as well you guys have been getting this card too and all of your readings Capricorn so uh, you could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius okay Sagittarius Leo Aries also Cancer Pisces Scorpio is definitely here okay but I do feel like there's a lot of emotions that's being poured into this situation okay that could be approaching you and this person uh, could be some sharp words that are exchanged or could be some things that you guys are trying to avoid, uh, you know, coming in incorrect with this person. But someone is definitely spying on this overall energy. With the death card here, there could be someone who's wanting um, some sort of retransformation. What I'm getting here is somebody's definitely accepting of some shit. So, <laughs> yeah. So, let's see about some. Okay. Let's see what that's to tell darling. So I want to know what the third party situation is about for sure. Okay. Yes. Okay, so there could have been someone who made some sort of cut. Or there could have been uh, another party in this situation. Two of cups with the third party somebody broke off some unionship possibly definitely someone who's analyzing and reflecting because it could have been something that was broken off that they felt like they needed to take a break from okay i do feel like somebody's making a definite decision to take care of family here is definitely what i'm seeing for overall weekend okay could have children involved in a situation but i definitely feel like somebody's definitely realizing you know that family needs to be taken care of right now the foundation is kind of rocky uh, but someone's definitely going to come to a final decision, especially about this three of pentacle energy. Somebody who's studying and analyzing something could be third parties as well. So over the weekend, I definitely feel someone is uh, going to be thinking about uh, some emotions that no longer serve them. You know, what time that they wasted into this. Also with the king of pentacles, some land travels and difficulties with land travels as well. Um, definitely materialistic things over the weekend for sure. But I do feel like there's some sort of thought that might come through with the Ace of Swords coming towards the end of the week uh, that might come through with some sort of idea for you. Definitely a lot of um, sword energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <coughs> I feel like there's some sort of energy that you guys are wanting to just get rid of and like start over and start fresh. Okay, especially with the uh, star card here. So yeah, somebody's wanting to start fresh, start something new, pour some emotions out. They're trying to take their mind away from a situation that they are really analyzing and thinking about their partner. It's definitely what I'm seeing here. Also, the Ace of Pentacles, somebody could be feeling like it's a lot of things that's apprehending them from moving. Somebody could be moving over the weekend, like I said. Somebody could be renting property. Okay, so my dearest Capricorns, that is what's happening for you over the weekends, my loves. On to the next is Virgo, darlings. Let me cut this deck, baby. Yes, honey, Capricorn. Definitely some children involved. So, Virgo. Let's do Virgo. I probably said Taurus Virgo in the beginning of the video. I don't fucking know, but yeah. Uh, here we go. Okay, Taurus. Could be a wedding involved here. Oh shit, it's safe. We love. What the fuck does that card mean? Chemistry. <laughs> and give your romance, your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So it could be some partnerships you guys are working on. Somebody's definitely analyzing some shit about themselves. Okay. So we about to see here over the weekend, Taurus. Somebody, y'all keep getting these wedding cards. So my loves, let's see what's going on. I'm going to 
shuffle two more times. And thank you to all my subscribers, my loves. I appreciate you guys. These are cross watchers, damn it. <laughs> Okay, so could be some partying and drinking celebrations as well. Somebody could be having some occasions that they have over the weekend. 15th through the 18th, March, Taurus. Let's see what spirits messages for you. Okay. Oh shit! Oh shit! It got that Leo card with the Sun card. Okay. All right. So spirit is saying that there is a situation. With a possible Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. <laughs> Knight of Wands. Somebody could be, uh, you know, on that high horse, baby. Ready to present that love with that nut bush. Look at him. Look like he dug it out of the root and had it, you know, placed there. So, Taurus. It could be a situation that you guys are celebrating. Three of Cups energy. Um, like I said, there's some sort of celebration possibly that you guys are dealing with it. Someone is kind of... Uh, losing it, it's losing its uh, joy is what I'm seeing here. Uh, you could be dealing with that Leo as well with the Sun card energy. So you could be dealing with uh, someone that you feel is not bringing you clarity on a situation. Okay, but I do feel like uh, with this Page of Swords energy, somebody could be wanting to block off some messages coming through to you. It could be a younger, uh, younger-minded character. You guys do get that childish uh, energy a lot that's surrounded by your overall energy that somebody could be younger than you or an immature energy than you like you guys have a already heightened sense uh, higher than they do is what definitely what I'm picking up here uh, but there could be a situation where you're definitely like man fuck that I'm about to carry my shit and go home okay could be some uh, truth that is revealed here with the shadow side card basically uh, the death card another death card uh, if you see the guy, he's watching this situation in the background with the two, you know, she looks like, well, I just, and he's like, well, ugh. So, it's a lot of emotions overall that you guys are going to be incur occurring. You're probably going to be feeling like somebody's just sitting there watching. They're not really saying what the fuck they need to say. So, uh, somebody definitely feels like there could be an ending coming with the Ten of Wands. Somebody feels like they're doing it all by themselves. Definitely a lot of endings here with the Ten of Cups. Also, uh, somebody wants some sort of happy home or somebody's definitely wanting their emotions to be like, you know, on some fairy tale type shit. But somebody's tired. That's why I said fairy tale. So somebody's trying to move on to greener pastures and go the fuck home. They feet hurt. The hands hurt from holding the sticks. The shoulders hurt. Shit. From working. And then you got the Ten of Cups. So the spirit's message for, like, is what I'm seeing here is that there's a situation that somebody's being oblivious to that they feel would cause some sort of happy home or happy ending. Um, which, you know, this person does have some love for you, but it seems to me like they're kind of on an immature energy. It's definitely what spirit's saying here. Especially saying, it's safe you'd love, baby. There could be a definitely uh, some sexual chemistry because the Knight of Wands is right on top of the chemistry card. Okay, so it could be that you put yourself in the background when it says to love yourself first. Uh, you could have put yourself, you know, on a back burner because you're so impressed by this Knight of Wands energy. So we're going to see over the weekend how they view you. Okay. Get ready, honey. All right, so how they view you as someone who's uh, basically getting ready to cut off some sort of connection here with the lover's card. Uh, they definitely view you as somebody who has, uh, you know, you stop thinking about the situation and you've picked it back up with the Four of Cups energy here. So somebody could have poured out some emotions. They could have been really reflecting and thinking about a situation that they possibly left behind. Uh, but someone's going to definitely maintain some balance after they analyze the situation is definitely how they view you. 
you could be dealing with a Gemini as well with the lovers card here um, also cancer Pisces Scorpio but with the cool with the full card somebody is uh, feeling like they kind of missed an opportunity or someone is not really ready to take that leap of faith is definitely what I'm picking up here is how they view you um, they also view you as somebody who's maintaining balance because they are holding all of the weight so uh, it looks to me like somebody could be definitely analyzing a situation but I feel like with this queen of wands honey listen it's sex okay that's how they view you passionate energy okay all up in that bedroom baby okay it could be a witch as well it could be very high in their spirituality so you know but they see you as uh sex that's how they view you and that's how i'm gonna read that card too so let's see what's approaching you oh wow there's definitely a lot of spying going on you guys oh my god page of swords so somebody's looking but they're not talking like i said earlier somebody was like oh, 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 oh. they're probably just staring I'm not saying nothing yeah that type of motherfucker so um <laughs> i feel like uh you know who's approaching you is definitely someone who's spying someone who's trying to hold some things inside uh they could have limited their options possibly they're 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 uh to me it looks like they're getting ready to open their options with the seven of cups energy also with the five of wands energy someone could be um definitely uh arguments or some sort of disagreements which could be ahead okay but it's gonna bring some truths with this arguments and disagreements it's gonna be very revealing with this moon card here okay is what is approaching you you could be dealing with a pisces as well cancer pisces scorpio possibly yo sagittarius aries uh once this happens i'm telling you what's what is approaching you is someone who's blocking off sex or there could be a sex connection that you guys feel needs to start over again okay but somebody's definitely not prepared with the nine of cups coming in reverse Somebody's definitely not prepared, you know, or aligning things how they need to be so they can be fruitful and see what's ahead of them, okay? But I do feel with the Ace of Cups energy, it's definitely some love energy that could be coming through to you uh, because someone had some arguments. Um, so it could be some makeups and breakups is what I'm seeing here, Ace of Wands, and then you got the Ace of Cups. So somebody could be wanting to show you some sort of emotional love, but I do feel like these arguments that are going to happen is going to reveal that mystery and unveil many many things so we can ready to see what's going on okay and then we're gonna see some possible outcomes honey 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 i feel like it's a situation that somebody is uh getting ready to explode okay so be ready taurus okay but y'all gonna get some shit in alignment left gonna come through but we about to find out what this uh moon card and this five of wands is about what this argument is about okay yes okay so this argument looks to me uh some truths that are going to be revealed over the weekend the emperor card just came out and also the death card so it could be that someone is wanting some sort of restart uh so they can build up something new but someone feels like they are not ready okay they feel like they just ready to take whatever is theirs and call it quits so i definitely feel that there's some sort of argumentative energy here that somebody is not really getting their shit together someone could be talking to an older person as well with the with the emperor card here uh someone could be you know talking to a father figure or uh, someone is definitely feeling like they need to restart here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio too. So this could be in the outside influence, but I definitely feel like overall some truths are going to be revealed. There's going to be some sort of recycle or start that happens. Somebody's just going to be sitting with you on the defense, honey. Not saying nothing. I told you that's that character that don't be saying that they just be goofy doofy. Okay? So... <laughs> So, it's probably, this person just stands guard, you know, um, with you. They don't really, like, talk about their feelings or they're not really able to emotionally um, let you be aware of, you know, their feelings is definitely what I'm picking up here. They could be using some, uh, they could be on the defense as well. Um, but I do feel like there's some sort of, you know, make up to break up that's going to happen here, like I said before. Okay so 
Wow, you could be dealing with the Pisces for sure with the moon card here in reverse, but there's going to be some truths that come in for sure. Uh, you feel like it's a lot of mystery surrounded by this overall energy and you're ready to just dump this shit out <laughs> and start new, okay? But um, on, that's probably underneath the surface. But I do feel like, uh, you know, what's approaching you is definitely some energy that's mysterious, but you're getting ready to see some truths that are revealed for sure. Uh, definitely a lot of love energy here, recycles, restarts, but somebody is uh, just, you know, kind of like I said, goofy doofy, like, oh, well, what do you want me to do? You know, that type of guy, like, dude, you know me by, you should know me by now, okay? Dude, come on. So, possible outcomes, Taurus, um, you know, definitely some energy that's being released here. Uh, someone is definitely researching and analyzing a situation for sure. Uh, you could be receiving some messages with uh, the Page of Pentacles as well. It could be doing little short land travels. Uh, but it looks to me like there could be some passionate energy that you guys are trying to dismiss with the Page of Wands. Like you're just not trying to hear it. He came in uh, uh, reversed. But also with the Knight of Pentacles, someone's wanting to travel to you. Okay? It could have been that you dismiss some hearsay like whatever bullshit, bullshit. And this person still wants to come to you or travel to you as well. Look at his horse, okay? That's his modern day car, baby. And it looks to me like uh, somebody could be traveling a distance over the weekend as well. Or they could be taking some trips uh, to land. Um, but I do feel like somebody is definitely studying some things and polishing up on some new shit for sure. You could be isolating yourself, but you're definitely going into an introspective period of getting ready to see that light at the end of the tunnel, okay? Definitely some wisdom here or some knowledge that you're getting ready to gain, especially right next to the uh, Hermit card and also the Eight of Pentacles. So you also be analyzing some money, too. So be ready for that, baby. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles. So I definitely see that you guys are taking care of a money situation for sure. Okay. I do feel like um, this person that wants some sort of restart, you feel like they kind of block communication is what it looks like to me. Like they're not emotional. So it's going to be kind of hard to expect those emotions from this person. Um, you know, and you've also isolated yourself, you know. So, get ready for them truths, baby. Okay. Yes, I read you your life, baby. Somebody, some truths have shown the hidden is becoming uh, uncovered. Okay. No longer covert. So, Taurus, that is for the weekend, my loves. You guys are going to start getting back into your power. Okay. So, let's see what's going down. I gotta turn this shit down because you know they're gonna be tripping on my fucking YouTube and shit. Okay, baby. So, Virgo, my loves. Here we go. Pay attention to the red flags, Virgo. Straight like that. Healing family issues. I love that card. Shit, it's never, you can never go wrong with having family issues being healed. Okay? Because shit from your past comes back to your future if you didn't correct that shit. And that's real. I like that card. I like that card. Pay attention to the red flags so we can really see what's going on. Express your love and chemistry. Okay, so somebody could be using a little bit of chemistry to get a little snug. Okay, also could be uh, expressing some sort of love with some romantic uh, things and things. So we can ready to see. Okay, over the weekend. I want to know what these red flags are. Okay. I want to know whether or not somebody is really, truly revealing themselves. So, we're going to see what messages Tarot has for you. Virgo darlings. And thank you to all the lovely ladies who timestamp, baby. I got my eye on you. <laughs> so... Virgo, let's see what's going on. Virgo, Virgo, let's see what's going on. All right, Virgo, third party situations. What it's looking like, somebody could be dating as well, or somebody could be wanting to leave out of a situation and travel away. 
go about. Somebody could be thinking about traveling. They definitely mentally reflected. Somebody could be go, going fishing. Somebody could be uh, paddling on a boat. Somebody's definitely taking a trip, okay, alone. Mental reflection, restoration for sure. So with the Page of Wands energy, there could be some witty energy in your overall Virgo darlings. I love this for the weekend. So I want to know about this Three of Pentacles. I want to know if somebody is, uh, you know, not studying something or something. But I do feel like there's some energy that you guys are trying to receive some sort of passion or um, some structure here. That's the overall message. Somebody's trying to rebuild something here. The Emperor card. Okay. The Emperor to me is a builder. He builds from the ground up. Straight like that. Like he just. he That's his land. That's his house. Looks to me like y'all trying to rebuild yourselves. And getting your house. And um, you know. Your temple and your vessel together. It's definitely what I'm seeing here over the weekend. So you could be beautifying yourself as well. Or definitely trying to get rid of some old thinking habits for sure that no longer cut that look okay they're not ready you ready to cut okay so you could be cutting some shit out too but you all you do have your swords aligned ready to cut okay it's definitely what i'm picking up here about the message from tarot okay so could be dealing with some thoughts or ideas that come to you a flash of light with the ace of sword energy here my loves i love this call darlings uh definitely could be some energy that you guys are um trying to um take your time on finding out exactly what you want with the hermit card here okay so let's see how they view you They view you as someone who definitely has their guard up. Definitely some third-party situations here. So somebody could be uh, deceiving a lot of uh, people or having a lot of deception going on with the Six of One energy, with the Three of Swords energy. Uh, it could be not only just deception, but it could be like uh, that they're, you know, trying to deceive all parties is what I'm getting here, Virgo. There could be a, a situation where somebody is, could be like, you know, holding on and you're wanting to let go of a situation cancer pisces scorpio leo sagittarius aries here for sure also gemini libra aquarius so how they view you as somebody who's um you know could be dating or could be sneaking off but somebody who's definitely um heartbroken over a situation with a third party definitely someone who's going to make some fast moves and be on some real quick movement shit with the um chariot card here so be ready for that fast movement my loves be ready for uh someone to also come in and be pretty sharp too they see you as someone who's definitely sharp with the knight of sword energy here so these people over the weekend whoever it is you're dealing with they feel like you know you could cause some heartbreak someone is popular as well or someone could be a youtube star or a social media star six of wands energy for sure so interesting what's approaching you is a situation that someone feels is not justified okay justice card in reverse came in reverse uh so somebody could be feeling like they're Needing to cut away from a situation. Definitely some truths here with the moon card. You could be dealing with with a Pisces. Also uh, Leo as well. But uh, over the weekend it looks to me like, you know. It looks to me like what's approaching you is some clarity and inspiration. Because there's going to be some truths revealed. Uh, even though there is no justice uh, that you feel was equally given, you know, to you possibly or to this person possibly. Uh, they could be feeling like, you know, a little withered or torn apart in a situation. I'm going to clarify that here in just a second. But I do feel like what's approaching you is definitely some clarity situations here. So you could be getting some sort of inspiration. You could be getting some uh, validation okay with the sun card here but you also could be blinded towards some sort of uh information especially since this is following by the five of pentacles and the moon card you're probably needing to get more clarification or you feel like you need more clear uh more authenticity of the clarification it's definitely what i'm picking up here someone could be feeling like they're left out in the cold uh, definitely someone who's very popular as well six of one energy just came in also the chariot card you could be dealing with the cancer uh, for sure chariot card ace of cups um, there could be someone who's definitely um, 
coming out of an isolation period. Somebody could be dating as well, but I feel like this dating over the weekend could cause uh, some sort of boredom or people just kind of sitting around. Okay? Yes, honey. Also, it could be some energy with the Hermit card here um, that somebody's really trying to, like, um, you know, bring back the dead on that type of situation, but they're just ready to dump out some shit. It's definitely what I'm seeing here. Like, somebody wants to go out in society. There could be some traveling or car issues that you guys are dealing with with the Chariot card, but I do feel like with the Ace of Cup energy, there could be um, some sort of love situation that's blocked off here, especially on the mysteriousness that you don't know about this uh, moon that's here as well. Yeah, definitely some explosive energy that you don't know about, okay? Underneath the surface, some shit that is definitely hidden. Could be with the Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, for sure. King of Wands, also Queen of Wands, right next to each other. So it could be two different people that there's a situation or an occurrence that happens that is like really, really shitty with this tower moment making some you know really quick decisions or some really quick changes here is definitely what i'm seeing especially with the chariot and the tower yeah so let's see about some possible outcomes okay so there could be some argumentative energy here but i definitely feel like someone's getting ready to start to renew themselves could be dating out as well with the two of wands definitely a lot of dating cards here so somebody could be on a website um dating you know things like that but i do feel like somebody wants to come in and try to renew or restore something and you're trying to you know get away from this negative energy but like i said um there could be a lot of sharp words that's exchanged here the queen of swords also the five of wands energy and the high priestess so you could be dealing with a uh, taurus but i do feel like there's some sort of high spiritual calling that you guys are getting ready to see some truths to okay you could be dealing with the cancer pisces scorpio for sure okay yes and also, uh, somebody feeling like they need to walk the fuck away with this Ten of Wands and definitely end some shit, okay? Yes. But I do see here that there's, like, over to the side, the High Priestess is here. So it's major truths that's coming in for you, okay? It's no longer this uh, veil. You had the Moon card that came in reverse. Um, you had two moon cards that came in reverse. So you could be dealing with the Pisces, also Cancer Scorpio. Definitely a lot of energy, a lot of emotions uh, in this as well. But I definitely feel like you are getting ready to see some truths and you're getting ready to start analyzing and sitting back and watching and polishing yourself up. Especially for uh, someone who's getting ready to be very solid. Okay? By the end of the weekend, my loves, making final decisions and being very solid. So if you'd like to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit the description box down below and I will see you in the next video, babies. Peace. Love you.